This is Akashwani Shillong, the Northeast News, read by Rikinti Marwin. In Assam, there is no respite from the flood's fury as several major rivers are overflowing above the danger mark. The current wave of floods affected over 16 lakh people, while growth communication has been snapped at multiple locations. Rescue and relief measures have been intensified across the state as the current wave of floods severely affected life. Governor Gulab Chan Kataria, Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma, and Union Minister Sarbananda Sonowal have visited flood-hit areas and met affected people. All of them instructed the concerned officials to extend all possible help to flood-hit people. Arrangements have been made by the district administration to give essential food items, drinking water and medical help. A major portion of the Kaziranga National Park has been submerged and park authority intensified vigil to prevent poaching of the wildlife. Manipur government decided to extend the holiday for all schools in the state for another two days, while the government offices will remain closed till today. An order issued by the Department of Education School, Manipur, said that all schools of the state government, government aided, aided, private and central schools will stay closed today and tomorrow. In view of the worsening flood conditions which has caused the submergence of a vast tract of residential lands and educational institutions and keeping in mind the safety of the students and teachers of the state, the government decided to extend the holiday for another two days. Another order issued by the General Administration Department Manipur said the departments involved in rescue and relief operations and essential services shall remain a working day. National Informatics Centre and the Spices Board of India signed a Memorandum of Understanding to develop AI tools for detecting and classifying large cardamom diseases in Sikkim yesterday. The project, spearheaded by NIC's Center of Excellence in AI Kolkata, aims to analyze images of cardamom leaves to identify diseases early. The MOU was signed by Sanhita Bhattacharji of NIC and Dr. A.B. Ramashri of the Spices Board with participation from Dr. L.P. Sharma, State Informatics Officer of Sikkim and other officials. This initiative follows three months of discussions and marks a significant step in leveraging AI for agricultural advancements in Sikkim. Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio yesterday underscored the critical roles of administration and policing as the backbone of governance. The Chief Minister said while flagging off 35 boleros, 300 bikes and two mobile forensic investigative vans aimed at enhancing law enforcement across Nagaland at police complex in Chumukdima. He said these vehicles will enhance state's law enforcement capabilities, ensuring better safety, responsiveness and security for the citizens. He also emphasized on Nagaland's recent economic strikes, particularly in the private sector, but also cautioned that such growth often accompanies increased challenges, including rising crime rates. The Chief Secretary of Meghalaya, Dr. Ch Beg your pardon, Shri D. P. Walang yesterday chaired a review meeting to address the recent heavy rainfall in the state. During the meeting, Chief Secretary D. P. Walang sought updates from all district administrations regarding the extent of damage to roads and its impact on connectivity, the progress of relief distribution, and the current financial status related to relief efforts. The Deputy Commissioner and officials from various departments participated via video conferencing. The Chief Secretary, Mr. D.P. Walang, specifically requested the Deputy Commissioner to provide updates on road connectivity, damage to houses and the allocation of relief funds. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu said that the state government is preparing a road map called Mission Olympic 2028 and Mission Olympic 2032 under its ambitious 100-day action plan. He said the road map will finalize and implement it within 100 days of the new government, which will scout and nurture talented athletes for the world's biggest sporting event, the Olympics. Mr. Khandu said this while inaugurating a FIFA standard artificial turf football ground at Yalwa Sayang Gatso High Altitude Stadium in Tawang yesterday. With that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akashwani Shillong. Have a nice day.